Hello everyone. In this video we are going to learn about behavior subject. So by the definition, behavior subject is a type of subject. A subject is a special type of observable, so you can subscribe to message like any other observable. Mainly the use of a behavior subject once you want to broadcast your message, then you can you go for behavior subject. Just like just take a, a uh, example. You have a five components and you want to display the same message for every component. So that times you will use that behavior subject. So let's see with example how we can do. Just create a first we are going to display that broadcast that message with a two component. So I'm going to create the two component to generate component. First component Now I'm going to create second component For the behavior subject we need to use one service So we'll create the subject service and generate as for service that like a user service so here in the source folder you will see that there is an app first component this is the first component the second one is a second component so now here you can see that there is a one user service so open that one user surface so here we are going to write like going to write behavior subject so write private broadcast message let's go to new behavior subject so i'm going to pass that a string So first message will be the I am broadcasting first message. Now broadcast it's equal to this dot broadcast message dot as observable okay so in that uh, app component this one that html app component or html we are going to call that both component that is the first component app as first So let's check that selector name. Okay, this one is the app dot first. Okay. For the second comp component, what is the selector? Is the app dot app dash second. So again, you are going to come app dash second. So make it a separate. Here to first message, then same right here for second component. So call that uh, in that uh, service going to write one more method just like a update broadcast message so new message will be string so 
so next message is going to be update that broadcast message dot next so next message is the new message now to change in that uh, first component and second component so it will call that particular service so open the first component dot ts so here call that service so i'm going to inject that particular service that broadcast that service name is that user service okay so now we are injecting that one so we now we have to call this dot broadcast dot that broadcast check that one broadcast okay here we can write like a user service user service this dot broadcast dot subscribe method so broadcast message here this dot broadcast equal to broadcast so this one will be the string so we need to assign here okay and this value that broadcast message this value it will display in that uh, first component dot html same thing we have to do in the second component dot ts so you need to copy first uh, inject that service that will be the user service okay so next create one variable that is a uh, broadcast message is equal to that will be string now subscribe that broadcast dot subscribe broadcast this dot broadcast message equal to broadcast so same one this broadcast message we have to display in the second component dot html display here let's run the application and this sir open Now here you can display the I'm broadcasting first message and the second component that broadcasting and broadcasting that first message that both of them first we have to make that black point so it will make a separate and make it bold so first we have to make a bold open that app component dot ts this one and HTML okay this will make it bold. make a breakpoint this one here also now make it bold this one also okay now check yeah you can see here that first component broadcast message same one that I am broadcasting first message and second one also it's in the second component also it's displaying that same message now what we will do we will create one text box here and and one button so i'll try to change that particular message 
so it should affect that broadcast will with the all the com both the two components so go to that first component dot html okay. now here we will create one text box and put type text put reference variable that broadcast message close it then we will make a button button that will be the event binding click call that broadcast new message so call, pass this value here check the design no, it's okay so here there is a one message so also to make go down make a different here yeah. so uh, what I will do I if I will change here from this test box I will click press uh, broadcast and then both the components that the message should be changed go to the first component dot ts Copy this one. New broadcast message HTML input element. Okay. So we are going to call this user service this dot user service dot that update broadcast message so here we do this add this new broadcast message dot value okay. so to, now we have to clear that that value then focus Okay. So this particular uh, message that update broadcast message we have created in that service. So if we'll open that service here, so you can see here the we have created like update broadcast message. This method I am passing that new message and then we are doing that next. We are, in that behavior service there is a one method that is called a next. So this one will be update the old value. Now let's check that here. Just write. I am broadcasting another message. Okay, just press broadcast. Now you can see here both values is updated. That's like a new value. You have I'll click that broadcast. So see both that component that value is changing. Now basically use is of that service behavior is like a, that behavior subject is that broadcasting your message to the different components. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.